hello guys my live back in with another new video so today i gonna teach you a drag and drop uh, website making tool though i don't support this kind of a technology but still i am showing it to you why because this is a open source project first of all now uh, it is in its preliminary stage so don't expect too much fancier things from it but still i am featuring it why because hum agar share karenge like if we share these kind of projects then it will get some publicity and obviously people will contribute to it to build more the uh, like more features out of it more like make it more powerful just like most of the open source libraries are right now right so let's just get started see what we have today and see what we can build till now with it and what's the future can be okay so let's just get started so today we are here at web studio okay this is nothing like web flow okay that is a more of a powerful tool this is not that much powerful but it's some kind of like that so first of all you can host it anywhere and this is just a front end you should understand that first this is just a front end so you can host it anywhere vercel netlify aws whatever you want to use as it's like uh, as it's open source you can like two stops contribute to it and do a lot of things and you can actually uh, collaborate in it that is also a great thing i would say because yeah collaboration functionality in a open source drag and drop website uh, builder that's great and you can connect it to any of the cms like you can use it for shopify though i will not suggest that but you can you can use graph cms content full whatever whatever you want to like and obviously you don't have always have to connect it with cms like having a cmx is great but you can uh, connect it to anything actually uh, uh, is is if, if if it's the case so i think you can connect it to notion as well to manage your stuff yeah that is too, quite possible rather than that uh, code visually and they are using remix over here so you are getting all of the sweetness of remix as well though remix is like a totally new framework but still you are getting that and then another thing that we really like about it like uh, if you are using remix you know what are the like features of remix that it is having i'm not talking about that this is not a remix video and they are using radix user uh, ux or radix ui themselves to uh, build their editor so uh, just let's just look at the uh, editor as well okay so we'll just uh, have a look in it so this is how the editor actually looks like okay here is the content that you can edit and you can like simply start editing it but i don't have permission to edit it i think yeah yeah okay i can yeah i can edit it actually okay as you can see it's really simple to use and here are the layouts though i would say i am not too much familiar with this kind of platform that's why i am not uh, able to like properly navigate it but it have a lot of lot of customization built into it that you usually don't see while using this kind of a app or this kind of a website like yeah and here are properties the usd you can add i don't know what property you will add and you can give it a value as well uh, i'm not sure how you will use it and here is the total layout of the website that you can see like uh, it is totally built in a box and box and box then there is a heading there is a paragraph there is another block heading paragraph all of those things okay uh, so we can we will get a tree view of it that is for sure and here is the modules that you can use as of now so we have box so basically everything is a box and, and i think box means actually div okay so you can use box 
then we have buttons obviously we should have buttons forms here is a form field heading obviously required headings mm, input links here we can see links here then all, all over, over in this page paragraphs and text blocks okay so those are the things that we can use as of right now and there are the simple things and you can simply click on publish to directly publish in here and it will give you the link yeah that's it and you can go to view mode like view only mode as well so you can have the preview of it okay so yeah great great so that's how simple this website like not website that's how simple this tool is okay and that's that's to that's about it like this is the total thing nothing else uh, you can get over here as uh, as obviously it's uh, just in the building phase and this is just the alpha launch not even a beta launch okay so i hope they will add a lots of thing in it lots of customizations lots of new tools lots of new components will be added on for sure because obviously that's needed so yeah that's about it about this website that's about it about this tool i have been actually thinking of featuring this tool for a longer time like like time now like i have been thinking uh if if if, if i should feature it or not like uh, it's not in that stage right now should i do it but still i did it because that's the reason like uh if i don't like uh, feature open source projects and if i don't like support them like uh, how how will open our uh, open source great project will get more and more developers attention right so that's why i shared it so yeah that's about it that's about about this video that's about it about this website if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends comment down below do whatever like boost up the youtube algorithm that's that would be like great for me okay and if you know about some of the great tools like this which is right now developing but will be game changer soon i i am like i'm thinking of like it will be a game changer one day okay no problem but yeah if you know about something like this Please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so I can feature them in my future videos as well. So bye for now.